Now next example free fall. Discuss the motion of an object under free fall. Neglect air resistance. Now see, for free falling body, we know when we release the body, it is free falling under the effect of gravity. So its initial velocity that is zero always and acceleration that is acceleration due to gravity. It is downward. So here we consider downward that is negative direction, upward that is positive. Therefore, we take A equal to minus G that is minus 9.8. Okay. Now V equal to V0 plus AT, X equal to V0 T plus half AT square and V square equal to V0 square plus 2 AX. These are our three equations of motion with constant acceleration and here acceleration that is acceleration due to gravity and that is constant one. So we can use these equations. Now see here, if we substitute the values V equal to V0, V0 is 0, A that is minus G, so T. Value of G that is 9.8. So we can write V that is equal to minus 9.8 into T meter per second. Second equation X or Y you can take here vertical motion we consider. So we take here Y except X. So V0 that is 0. A that is minus G. So minus half GT square. G that is 9.8. So we'll get 1 by 2 into 9.8 that is. 4.9 T square. So minus 4.9 T square that is your Y. Now third equation V square equal to V0 square plus 2 AX. X will be replaced by Y. So V square equal to 0 minus 2 G Y. So we can write V square equal to minus 2 G that is 9.8. So 2 into 9.8 that is 19.6 Y. Right? That is meter square per second square because this is v square okay now see the variation of acceleration velocity and distance with time that we can plot as shown in the figures now see first that is acceleration versus time now this one is constant acceleration because this motion is under the effect of gravity so acceleration is gravitational acceleration. It is constant one. So here we will get a straight line parallel to the time axis, right? Because acceleration is not changing. And it is minus 9.8. So it is taken on negative y axis. Then after C velocity. So V equal to minus 9.8 T. So V directly proportional to time. Right? But here negative sign. So the graph that is in third, sorry, fourth quadrant, time is positive. Here velocity is negative. And it is a straight line graph. If you find out the slope of this particular graph, then slope will be 9.8. So this is the velocity time graph. Now for distance. So distance y proportional to t square. So here the graph of y versus t that will be parabolic time. Clear?